These hoodlums have really dealt with Zazu Chrono Portable. You need to see how they vandalize his Range Rover windscreen. And it's actually unfair as Portable is seen angry, rolling like a lion that just came out from the bush. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's your boy, Critty Boy Update. And if today is your first time here on this channel, please don't hesitate to smash the red subscribe button and turn on the post notification bell icon before you go. And also share this video to all social media platforms. Give us a thumbs up. <laughs> They don't talk about glass food. That's what they power. They don't find glass food. They don't buzz about glass food. They don't buzz about glass food. Singer Portable's Range Rover vandalized by hoodlums while performing at a concert in Ijegun, Lagos State on Sunday, November 6th. Or more. Portable now done they show annoyance like this as in they suspect anybody, anybody even touch him in blood just the or to an extent saying ready to you know to attack anybody right now at this scene. You know, guys, before I play the video for you, you know, say portable don't define trouble right from time and maybe now one of these people will find trouble come monitor and come this concert so and the only thing they could do when go pain portable not to damage in windscreen and they don't do one now and portable come out to come see say in windscreen don't break and this range rover portable so much cherish this range rover eh? <laughs> portable just feel faint for this range rover to leave or oh, more it's not easy so guys i'll play the video for you guys to watch and listen to what is going on in this update they don't talk about glass food. That's what they power, they don't find glass too. They don't buzz about glass too, but they power out. They don't buzz about glass too, but they power out. They don't buzz about glass too, but they power out. They don't glass now. Who can do this guy to now? Who can do this guy to now? Protest at presidential town hall meeting in Abuja after PDP presidential candidate Atiku Abubakar failed to show and instead sent his running mate Governor Ifaino Koa. The debate was organized by the Center for Democracy and Development and Arise Television on Sunday, November 6, and Peter Obi of the Labour Party, Rabi Upakwaso of the New Nigerian People's Party and NPP, and presidential candidate of the People's Redemption Party, Kola Abiola, attended the event in person. APC presidential candidate Bola Ahmed Tinubu was absent and there was no representative for the ruling party. Some spectators, however, disrupted the event, stating that they wanted only presidential candidates to participate. When calm was restored, all four candidates, including Okowa, were allowed to speak to the audience for a few minutes. Okowa later explained why his principal, Atiku Abubakar, didn't show up. Atiku Abubakar duly obtained permission from the organizer of the town hall meeting for him to be represented and that permission was duly given. Atiku Abubakar is outside the country and he has asked me to represent him. He said, I think that answers the question to earlier concerns raised. This is just a town hall meeting, not the actual debate. He had it. Very quickly. Don't call everybody. This man is saying this. He called it to be people. You see what is happening in Antigua. I won't take this. He called it to be people. This colonel is NTP personnel. You call it to be people. Stop that, please. Do you, know? you did. Do you know? Stop that. I'm taking a lot from you here. What is what? Why are you always calling me? Peter Obi lashes out at Dino Melaye at a presidential debate. The presidential candidate of Labour Party LP Peter Obi publicly expressed his anger at politician Dino Melaye at the presidential town hall meeting organized by Arise TV on Sunday night, November 6th. 
The drama started when one of the attendees stood up to question the presidential candidate and someone was heard saying, Nawao Obi people. On hearing the words of Dino, Peter Obi snapped at him. Stop that Dino, why are you always calling me? I won't take that. This man is from ANPP, why are you calling him Obi people? A visibly angry Peter Obi said. This is unfair, honestly. Everyone is just, you know, disliking this Peter Obi, especially Dino Melaye. Why Dino Melaye is so much jealous of this man? I don't really understand all this. Presidential candidate of all Progressive Congress, APC, Bola Tinibu, who was conspicuously absent at the Arise TV presidential town hall meeting, Head last night ahead of the 2023 general election was spotted at a birthday party holding close by. Recall that the town hall meeting hosted by the Arise News Channel in conjunction with the Center for Democracy and Development in Abuja was attended by three presidential candidates, Labour Party's Peter Obi, NNP Rabiu Kwakwaso and RNP RP's Kola Abiola, while PDP's Atiku Abubaka was represented by his running mate Ifine Okoa. You know, this thing is not nice. Look at look at the person who didn't even show up in a meeting, very important meeting. Look at him attending a birthday. Are you trying to say that uh, this birthday is more important than the meeting you're supposed to attend? Come on, no wonder angry Nigerians, angry citizens were commenting bitterly saying that these people never care how Nigerians feel. And with this attitude, Nigeria is not going to move forward. And these people are saying all this. It's really unfair seeing Tinubu publicly holding close by in a birthday party. Come on. So guys, what is your take on this? The comment section is wide open. Put on your comment there as you like. Make it sensible so that we approve them. So guys, no hate speech, please. Let them talk to Nigerians. Do the right Stop thing. doing these things. Do the right thing. Please. You tell us that the ticket is won. Yet, El Sibajo cannot act in Buhari. Yet, you tell us that the ticket is won. No, you shouldn't continue this. This should not continue. And Peter Obi should not speak at this thing. I tell you, sir. You cannot disrespect us in this manner. This woman is supposed can be taken. Let's, let's sit down first. We don't want, we don't want this. Only Professor Kadir. We want Professor Kadir. Professor Kadir. Only Professor Kadir. That's what we want. We want Professor Kadir. From the Kingdom of Nigeria. Sit down. 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 You go out. Whoever is the No, 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 no. Thank you guys for watching Critical Boy Update. And if you come here for the first time, subscribe and turn on the post notification bell icon so that anytime I post a new video, you'll be the first to get a lot. See you guys on our next update. And don't forget to like this video, share it on social media platforms once again. Goodbye.